Hey everybody, Randy with Extreme Sandbox. Look a little bit different here today, huh? I probably need one of these all the time. Check out this episode. We are at Komatsu Demo Days, Cartersville, Georgia. There are some mammoth machines back here. Check it out. You're going to watch us test out some really cool toys. So today is our uh, spring demo days. So twice a year we hold the demo days. We have about 300 customers uh, um, over the course of a week that come through. So they show up and uh, we get everybody signed in and, and we take them, we put them on buses and we run them up to our, uh, our factory in Chattanooga. So we have three factories in North America. So we have uh, Chattanooga, uh, Newberry, South Carolina, and Peoria, Illinois. We also have two foundries that we have here in the U.S. But they go up there, they do the factory tour, they see where many of these machines are, that are behind me are made at. This time we're gonna get so we just, uh, well the customer event's been going on for a while. So this is where, Eric, do we need to play? We do need to play. That's Eric, what we do. Yeah, we do. So we're gonna try and get into some of these equipment uh, and try them out and yeah, see if we can break something. I really wanna get into the big excavator. I've never been into a big exhibit. Don't let Irik operate anything. And this should be awesome. Yeah, they want to ride that, the whole truck. You're going to get the golf cart. Did you see the golf carts show up? Oh, yeah. Irik's in the golf, golf cart. cart. Never ridden one of those before. Let's go check it out. That thing is huge. You know what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I do. Kind of. All right, so I'm in the 650 right now. Never been in this big of a machine ever in my entire life. insane my heart is racing it's incredible how much power is in that machine and it's so easy to operate okay what's next what more toys what are you gonna do I want to do one of the wheel loaders okay let's go do that all right is it that thing huge that's crazy you think they'll actually let me get in it how much bigger is that and is that than the wheel loader we have at extreme probably Sandbox? like about four or five of our wheel loaders combined that is crazy They're gone for about two to three hours for the tour. Come back, we feed them lunch. We obviously cover safety. We give them a little bit of a learning experience in the auditorium, but we know we're standing between them and this facility right here, so we gotta make it pretty brief, right? They really came for this, and so we get them up here as long as we can. The day and the afternoon, as you know, we have a little bit of a show highlighting all of our products. Then we let them run. We don't put an end date on it. We, we kind of say five o'clock, but we will stay out here as late as they want to stay out here. And this time of year, we've got sunlight till about seven o'clock. And it's not uncommon that we'll stay out here that late. Yo guys, technology, it's reshaping the construction industry. I think we're seeing this throughout our business. Technology and the adoption of technology and the machines are making our machines more and more proficient. But at the adoption of technology in our business, can be difficult to implement, master, and quite frankly, a bit scary. I think some of you guys who've gone that route, you've added technology, you know what I'm talking about. Well, sure, we can provide terrific machines like the D51 PXI here, all integrated machine, but where do you get the support? Where do you get the knowledge to continue down the pathway of this 
GPS machine control journey. Where do you get it? Well, Komatsu is committed to helping you. And I hope you take the chance to get on these machines and see how they can solve some of the issues that you face every single day. And that's what we're all about at Komatsu, is solving those problems. on the end there. How's it going? Good. It really is going good today. Um, we, uh, we've had a good turnout at all the machines and uh, everybody that I talked to who's operating the truck said they really enjoyed the tour at Chattanooga today of the manufacturing facility and uh, got to operate every machine on site, which is good. Now, the, first of all, what's your favorite toy out here to play on? I like the intelligent machines, uh, intelligent excavators and dozers. That's my yeah, favorite. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make you stick to something. What specifically? What machine? If you had to pick one that you just want to go play in, probably the D155 remote control. That's what I like. Nice, nice. So that D155 can be remotely controlled. It's got those lights on the top. Yeah, those are indicator lights when operated in remote control mode, which is nice. Okay, so now we're gonna we're shutting the camera off. It's not. See, it's off right now. So tell me what happens here after hours. Oh, I mean, after hours. When you yeah. when the customers are gone, you got all these toys out here. Come on, tell me what really happens. Okay, so usually what we do, uh, a lot of times we'll take these barrels and put them back behind the pavilion. Okay, and uh, a lot of times we'll go to the fridge and get some ice cold water. You guys are rocking it, man. It's cool. I'm trying. It's the only thing I haven't been on. Road, I've never run a road grader. The grader. If you can operate a grader. You're a machine operator. I can tell you that. Yikes! Maybe yeah, I shouldn't have asked. This him is to the say big that. test, I guess. Why do you guys say that before on camera? And now, not gonna end. This is not gonna be pretty. It's up to me. you, Randy. It's not the way you should probably end the day, should we? <laughs> you got a first timer. All right, you got a first, first timer. First timer. I got this. That was the quick version. That was the quick version. No sales pitch, just <laughs> controls. He's got to lift the blade up, and he's going to rotate it. Okay, so he wants dirt to go off that side. Now he's going to shift into... Okay. Good. He's good to go. He's good to go. He's got to put his foot on the brake, shift into gear. Ease off the brake. And lower, slowly lower the blade, and look at his cut. Let me see your hands. <laughs> oh, they don't oh. teach that in schools. I mean, the finesse. finesse. The way I took out the side of that backing up. <laughs> that was all intentional. I saw I needed to fill a little yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was dragging. Yeah, extra dirt there. <laughs> That's good. Oh. You see all the levers. I don't know, because you also, you're adjusting the blade, but yeah. then you have to steer. Yeah. Like, how does someone do that as... I don't, I don't get it. That's why the motor grade operator is normally the most skilled guy on the site. A lot of these people have owned Kamasi machines for a long time and never had an idea of all the quality that's built in when we build the machines. You know, the fact that Kamasi is a very vertically integrated manufacturer. Hey, look at that cylinder. It's made by Kamasi. Look at that pump. It's made by Kamasi. Oh, there's an engine sitting in a rack. It's made by Kamatsu. It shows all those pieces and bringing, bringing them together. We're uh, typically uh, Caterpillar customers and Caterpillar believers, and uh, never really had a chance to try anything else. So we uh, had a chance to come down and try some of the new machines. I got everything here from mini excavators to large excavators, wheel loaders, trucks. Uh, you name it, it's here for you to try. Not only do they have the machines here, but they have the uh, what they call the intelligent machines with uh, GPS control. That's basically uh, it's a game changer for the guys in the construction industry and uh, for people that are able to try it. 
it's uh, it's unreal. You know, uh, people that have never run a machine before can put a, you know, they can build a pad right to grade. It's uh, absolutely amazing. You know, with a little bit of expertise and uh, the technology suite in these machines, you can do unbelievable things. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. What are you doing, Eric? Um, I don't know. Do you even have a driver's license? I'm driving this thing. Well, it's it says a Norwegian. I don't know. You're you driving you? that? No. We talked about the golf cart. He was supposed to be allowed to drive the golf cart, Isaac. You trusted him with the <laughs> golf cart? <laughs> okay, go do it, man. I mean, uh, what, what uh, piece of equipment am I in right now? HM400. HM400. What's an HM400? This is a articulated dump truck. How heavy is this thing, would you? This truck can haul 40 tons. How'd you do, I rock? I was 40 tons just in the back there. How'd you do, Isaac? You did all right. He yeah. did all right. All Not right. bad. <laughs> we already we could put Iric on a payment plan for this thing. <laughs> Financed over 30 years. I believe I drove that thing. I know. What do you Can't say? believe you let me drive. How was thing? the day? How was demo days? It, um, once in a lifetime experience. Honestly, I have never done anything like this. I gained a lot of respect for people that do this every day. Let's just put it like that. Like. Uh, that's crazy.